be with y'all this evening. I really appreciate y'all having us. My name is Fred Weatherington. I'm serving as co-chair. There's two chairs, and uh, well, I represent the county. Mr. John Eunice is representing the city, but he's out of town this evening. And I appreciate y'all letting me come this evening and stand in for Wes Taylor. He has a board meeting. As Dr. Casey mentioned, Miles County is having a board meeting tonight, so uh, Mr. Taylor couldn't be here. Uh, what I can say is there's no reason for you to go not vote yes. That's what I can say. I can, I can promote it all day long. I'm a former Lyons County School Board member, uh, former chairman, and a volunteer serving on this East Bloss Committee. I've been a part of every East Bloss Committee since the 90s when we started this thing. And I, think there's some, I know there's some of you in this room uh, that know this, but I'm going to repeat it. That for those of you who haven't been around maybe for 20, 25 years, our school systems, both school systems, are so much better off since we've had East Plus. And it's just obvious. I can tell you when I came through Hay Higher Elementary, Hay Higher Junior High, Lowndes High School, every school I attended in the 70s and 80s, we had to pull out trash cans when it, when it rained. Uh, you know, whether it was in the hallway or in some classrooms. I, I, our first East Plus, I'm going back a little bit. Uh, the theme was drip, 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 stop the drips, you know, and uh, so we've come a long way, and I think my only concern is, is that we maybe take this East Plus revenue for granted, and, and maybe we don't uh, get out and remind our friends and neighbors and family members just how how far we've come with this East, East Plus stream. Uh, Dr. Casey's done a good job of talking about the schools. That's the big shiny projects, and of course the, the super new Valdosta High School. I, Dr. Case was kind enough to show me out uh, around the school about two or three weeks ago, and I told him I was going to brag about this, so I'm going to say it for y'all. Well, one of the greatest additions, in my opinion, uh, uh, and I had three country cousins. I, I, I mean, three city cousins. I'm a country cousin, but I, I grew. I, you know, we're from Lowndes County, been here all my life. My uncle Willie, and his family. So I had three first cousins that came through the Valdosta system. And there was five of us that came through the county system. But I can tell you that the CTAE wing, the vocational studies wing that's been added on at the New Valley High School was very impressive. And to me, that's something that the old school did not have. And I, I was always big, and Mr. Sam's not his head, he knows I was always big on our vocational opportunities that we offer our kids. Because college is not for everybody. I, you know, I get really upset about how in society, you know, we, all our young folks think we need to go to college. That's not true. In fact, there's as many good jobs out there paying just as well or better with just vocational training uh, than it is, you know, a four-year degree. And uh, at Lowndes, we've got a big vocational offer. And Valdosta now, with the new setup at the new high school, is expanding their vocational offerings. And I believe that's just a great opportunity. But I can sit here and talk about AP offerings. Uh, there's 21 I know that they're offering out at Lowndes. I don't know the number of Valdosta. We can talk about band and drama. We can talk about art. All these things take a lot of local dollars. And I'm telling you, all these programs have been super enhanced over the years since we've had the East Block strength. So all the technology that all our kids enjoy in the classroom, most of that technology, the hardware and the software, is coming from East Block dollars. I stood in front of the Georgia Bridgman Bamboosers the other night and got the sheet from the Lyons County School Board and told them, $551,938 of East Plus money has been spent in the Lowndes High Georgia Bridgman Band Program in the last 10 years. So this is real. And, and, and half of this money, over half, I think 51, 52 percent of it, comes from folks that are not Lowndes Countyans. They don't live in Valdosta or Lowndes County. You know, they're, they're stopping off the interstate or whatever. So it really is a win-win. What we need you to do, I really believe, uh, you know, if you don't believe what I'm saying, research it. I believe if you research this, it's a real easy decision about going to vote yes. But we need your help to get some people to the polls. It's a special election. We separated intentionally years ago. People ask me, why is it not on the November ballot? Years ago, the school boards decided back in the 90s, when this late 90s when it started, to not get it confused with state ballot questions. You know, every general election, there's several state ballot questions. And lobbyists up in Atlanta intentionally make those questions difficult to understand and they're trying to push you one way. I, I think, I, I mean, I'm just going to tell you, that's a fact in Fred, and that's what I believe anyway. So, a uh, long time ago we decided to, to separate uh, this question, this local question about our, for our schools and our local community. And it's a spring election and it comes around every five years. 
So anyway, we, we need you to help us get out there and just get folks to the polls and vote yes. Uh, it, 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 if you look at what it's done for us, absolutely. The safety enhancements, I, didn't, I almost mentioned that. I talked to you about technology. But a lot of the safety enhancements that's been done in all of our schools, we wouldn't be able to do all these things if we only had the general fund. The school boards would raise the property millage rate without East Block, but they could not raise it to bring in the amount of revenue that East Block brings in. So just, just please believe me, I miss it. You're not going to vote for Fred. I'm not asking you to go vote for me. I'm asking you to vote for our kids, our schools, our community. It's an economic development tool. We all know we need a. We want to, uh, our young folks to succeed. We want to have a good workforce. And this East Boss dollars is real. It's real, and you can, we can point to it all over the community. I've talked too much. I apologize. I get passionate about this stuff. But uh, I really appreciate y'all having us tonight. It's been a real honor. And uh, hope y'all help us get some folks to the polls and vote yes on East Boss. Thank you. We just appreciate the information and we're going to do our part because we have three districts and two super districts of candidates working. So those super districts and, and the three districts uh, that we have on uh, that's officers, we need to do our job. We need to get in our district and sell this program, sell these elections, and sell this these spots. We need to get people to the poll. 300 people voting uh, during the election is, is pitiful. It's pitiful. We need to get to the polls to vote. And we definitely need this. But like I said, you know, I'm from a little small town across the, across the state line called Jasper, Florida. And uh, that school right there is called Ballester High School. Every time I tell somebody to come from Jasper, come to my house and see me, I make sure they come a room to row. <laughs> so you can see that school. I make sure I tell them that. They come right past that school. Now, there's a whole bunch of other schools that balance just as nice, just as nice. But we got to get out there and vote. We got to vote for that. that, that. Well, we certainly appreciate y'all coming tonight. And thank you very much. Anytime you want to come, just, just give me a call. A Dr. Marks a call. We're more than happy to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get them a hand.